Good morning. We are set up and ready for morning prayer on Monday, Thursday. <laughs> and I'm joking. Um, it is April 1st, but we will not be fooling around for this time anyway. We will be asking the good Lord to watch over us and keep us safe from all tricksters. Anyway, Nancy is with us, and so far that's all, but hopefully shortly we will have somebody else, and if not, then Nancy and Ann and I will have a very nice morning prayer. So let us begin. I am Kathy Hawken. I am a member of the Good Shepherd Episcopal Church morning and evening prayer team. To join us today, you can get the bulletin at goodshep.org virtual.org and there is also a little spot there where it says today's service and you can click on it and um, you'll be right there with us. So our opening sentences for this Monday Thursday. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord has laid on him the inequity of us all. It is nothing to you, all you who pass by. Look and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow, which is brought upon me, whom the Lord hath afflicted. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Let us say together the Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this. The Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into our courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his faithfulness endures from age to age. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Our psalm today is Psalm 102. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me when I call, make haste to answer me. For my days drift away like smoke and my bones are hot as burning coals. My heart is smitten like grass and withered so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the voice of my groaning, I, have, I am but skin and bones. I have become like a vulture in the wilderness, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake and groan. I am like a sparrow, lonely on a housetop. My enemies revile me all day long, and those who scoff at me have taken an oath against me. For I have eaten ashes for bread and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and wrath, you have lifted me up and thrown me away. My days pass away like a shadow. 
and I wither like the grass. But you, O Lord, endure forever and your name from age to age. You will arise and have compassion on Zion as it is time to have mercy upon her. Indeed, the appointed time has come. For your servants love her very rubble and are moved to pity even for her dust. The nations shall fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion and his glory will appear. He will look with favor on the prayer of the homeless. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord looked down from his holy place on high. From the heavens he beheld the earth that he might hear the groan of the captive and set free those condemned to die, that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together and the kingdoms also to serve the Lord, he has brought down my strength before my time. He has shortened the number of days. And I said, oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days for years endure throughout all generations. In the beginning, O Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens are the works of your hand. They shall perish, but you will endure. They all shall wear out like a garment. As clothing, you will change them and they shall be changed. But you are always the same and your years will never end. The children of your servants shall continue and their offspring shall stand fast in your sight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson is from Jeremiah, chapter 20, verse 7 through 11. O Lord, you have enticed me, and I was enticed. You have overpowered me, and you have prevailed. I have become a laughing stock all day long. Everyone mocks me. For whenever I speak, I must cry out, I must shout, violence and destruction. For the word of the Lord has become for me a reproach and derision all day long. If I say I will not mention him or speak any more in his name, then when it, within me there is something like a burning fire shut up in my bones. I am weary with holding it in and I cannot. For I hear many whispering, terror is all around, denounce him. Let us denounce him. All my close friends are watching for me to stumble. Perhaps he can be enticed and we can prevail against him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me like a dread warrior. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble and they will not prevail. They will be greatly shamed for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us say together the song of Moses. I will sing to the Lord for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has be he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God and I will praise him. The God of my people and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahoo is his name. The chariots of fire and the army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome and renowned, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord. The sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our second lesson 
is from 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Therefore, my dear friends, flee from the worship of idols. I speak as to sensible people. Judge for yourself what I say. The cup of blessings that we bless, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord is an unworth, in an unworthy manner will be answerable to, for the body and blood of the Lord. Examine yourselves and only then eat the bread and drink of the cup. For all who eat and drink without discerning the body eat and drink judgment against themselves. For this reason, many of you are weak and ill and some have died. But if we have judged ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined so that we may not be condemned along with the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the song of the redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, grant deeds as they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are the ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For only you are the Holy One. All the nations will draw near and fall down before you. Because your just and holy works have been revealed, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now let us join together in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Severages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Have Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. The Colic for the Day for Maundy Thursday. Almighty Father, whose dear son on the night before he suffered, instituted the sacrament of his body and blood, mercifully grant that we may receive it thankfully in remembrance of Jesus Christ our Lord, who in these holy mysteries gives us a pledge of eternal life and who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A colic for the renewal of life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires. Incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace. 
that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in all denominations and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Bath Wells, England, the Right Reverend Peter Hancock Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of South Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton and our Companion Diocese, remembering today, especially the Diocese of Toliar, Madagascar. A prayer for mission. O oh God, you have made one of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you, bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Becky and family, Patricia, Priscilla, Michael, Steve, Terry, Patrick, Dina, Joey, Julia, Bob, John, Caroline and Kate, and Christopher, Darcy, Ashley, Roland and Josh, Mindy, Gary, Eric, Marilyn, Bernie, Jan, Steve, Peter, Joe, Sal and Colleen, Chris, Elisa, Jim and Jerry, Debbie, Jay and the family, and Karen. Now let us say our parish prayer. Almighty and ever living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithfulness, arouse the careless, and restore the pertinent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your heart. And Ian uh, asks us to pray prayers of thanksgiving for Letty's continued recovery. And oh, we are so very thankful that she is continuing to improve and has a goal of coming home, um, perhaps even as early as this weekend. We are very thankful, dear Lord, and we, um, we give you thanks and praise for this wonderful healing. Um, and also, I think we give thanks and praise for being a part of Good Shepherd Church, for being able to celebrate Holy Week together uh, and the resurrection of our Lord on Sunday morning. We are very, very thankful for uh, the opportunity we have to be a community of love and caring. We also have Thanksgiving for Sherry's negative test results and prayers for Sue. And we are, I, it, prayers of thankfulness are are so truly wonderful. Um, dear Lord, we thank you for these good results and we pray that Sue will um, be well. And now, oh, Wendy says, it is a blessing to pray for one another. And oh, it truly is. And we do that together through morning prayer. And it is, um, it is something that certainly has helped me through the pandemic and uh, hopefully all of you as well. Uh, Ian asked that we pray for Bob. And 
and also that we have and patience for Pam. Uh, we certainly will will pray for that patience and uh, send many prayers for Bob. It's, it is good to have lots of people praying for those we love and care about. Uh, I think too, maybe a prayer of thanksgiving for our wonderful staff at Good Shepherd. We do have a truly wonderful group that makes uh, our coming together and our sharing of our love of Jesus Christ much easier because they do such a grand job. So thank you to them uh, and we ask God to bless them and keep them safe. And now let us say a general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we your unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Um, we are also asked to um, pray for Kathy, uh, who needs healing prayers for pancreatitis. And I'm sorry that I didn't see that earlier, Joan, but certainly uh, we pray to the Lord for healing coming directly to Kathy so that she will be renewed. And we ask this in the Lord's name. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed day uh, and a wonderful Easter and uh, tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, there will be morning prayer on Good Friday. Bless you all.